The man who dreamed of fairyland. He stood among a crowd at drum a hair. His heart hung all upon a silken dress, and he had known at last some tenderness before earth made of him her sleepy care. But when a man poured fish into a pile, it seemed they raised their little silver heads and sang how day a druid twilight sheds upon a dim green well-beloved isle where people love besides star-laden seas. How time may never mar their fairy vows Under the woven roofs of quickened boughs The singing shook him out of his new ease He wandered by the sands of Lissadil His mind ran all on money cares and fears And he had known at last some prudent years before they heaped his grave under the hill. But while he passed before a plashy place, a lugworm with its gray and muddy mouth, saying how somewhere to north or west or south there dwelt a gay, exalting, gentle race, and how beneath those three times blessed skies a Danon fruitage makes a shower of moons, and as it falls awakens leafy tunes, and at that singing he was no more wise. He mused beside the well of Scanavan. He mused upon his mockers without fail. His sudden vengeance were a country tale. Now the deep earth has drunk his body in. But one small knot grass growing by the pool told where a little all unneeded voice Old silence bids a lonely folk rejoice and chaplet their calm brows with leafage cool. And how when fades the sea-strewn rose of day, a gentle feeling wraps them like a fleece, and all their trouble dies into its peace. The tale drove his fine angry mood away. He slept under the hill of Lugnagal. He might have known at last unhaunted sleep under that cold and vapor turban steep. Now that old earth had taken man and all, were not the worms that spired about his bones a telling with their low and reedy cry of how God leans his hands out of the sky to bless that isle with honey in his tones that none may feel the power of squall and wave and no one any leaf-crowned dancer miss until he burn up nature with a kiss the man has found no comfort in the grave